After an uneventful trip back to Oklahoma, we got all the equipment unloaded and cleaned up, ready for fall harvest. First load of corn for the year. My step broke the other day, and the lady at the scale keeps giving me a hard time about it. So I'm going to have to do the same thing to the back that's been done to the front. Typical Peterbilt steps. Please buy some flat discs. There we go, not quite good as new, but should hold for a while. Now I just have to put my tools away.
Thank you. Yo. So I'm attempting to make cornbread in Ronnie and Brittany's camper here. I don't know what this oven thing he's called, but this thing will focus. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Checking in after about five minutes. It's not really starting to smell good. Ten minute check-in. It's looking pretty good. Fifteen minute check-in. It's getting closer. Okay, twenty minutes. What does this look like? Hey, I thought that rack switched to come out automatically. Hot, very hot. It's kind of bland. So these are mung beans. Kind of a brittle pod. And then these itty bitty little green beans in there. I don't really know much about them, except that we're hauling them for a neighbor of Dwayne's. This dozer had been sitting at Dwayne's place for the last, like, 13 years. One of the guys helping him build his house had left it there and never came and got it. And we decided it was time to get rid of it. So there was a tree growing up through it that we had to cut down. Then we dragged it out, loaded it on the truck that was also there for the last 13 years, and took it back to its original home. Let's get rid of that one, Sean.
track didn't move yet, did it? Yeah, it did some. <laughs> well, I'm kind of the wrong way. I think what's just simply stuck in there. But it didn't start there short, it didn't. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell. There's still something smoke, and I smell it. I'm trying to smoke it out of this here. Where did that go? In the drop dryer? Yeah. Jay's is full. Drink part's empty. I'm trying to put a fire out. Yeah, this juice could probably take that drop. Yeah, well, it ain't quite full cool yet. It needs like 4,000 pounds. I don't think we're taking it in today. It's got junk back back in it and it was all down in there. Oh, there's some black. Where? Underneath there. The engine started it. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out where it, what made it go over there and where it for sure started. Well, that's a battery went out on there. Something through a hot spark. back here. Yeah, it's been out on the hot spark. Yeah, it's been out on the hot spark. Yeah, it's been out on the hot spark. It's smoking out of there. Yet. Where's it still smoking? Out of here. There's still, like nothing in there, probably. Coming down out of this dry chopper? Or up? It's just, where's that water hydrant? Wait. Is it up here or what? I don't know where it is. Yeah. Watch out, Johnny. What's well, like coming from this pump or this motor, I mean? Is the motor hot? Well, that's what I was trying to see, but. Hello? engine is fairly clean. There's one spot here there on the engine like the floor pan there's black spot where it burned a little bit. No, it's out here somewhere and I didn't open the shield up and it's don't see any more smoke so yeah the motor the, the straw spreader motor is steaming or something there's still a little bit of smoke there. Well I don't think we'll get the field finished. No. So you just had a bit of fire there a little bit ago in the combine. We're not 100% sure where or why it started, but it seems like it started over by the engine and then got blown into the back corner where the straw spreader is. So we had stuff smoldering there and then it fell down onto the frame and wheel and the smoldering so sprayed it down with water good and got it put out seems to be all right now we had mountain pies one evening for supper Dwayne got this cool shot of the big dipper behind me
Of course I had to make one for breakfast the next morning. A little bit burnt, as I usually make the first one or two, but... Very hot. Were you in that run? No. He's gotta take a picture of the king tail. I think he's trying to get you in the picture. I hope not. <laughs> I'm not trying to book. I don't think it shows up good enough. Well, no, maybe it does. I'm trying to see it. Maybe it'd be a better picture if I'd lean forward and have you take it going down the road with it flying straight back. Can you get that? I was going to say, that thing flies right back if you're going down the road. Does it? The green Chevy truck had also been sitting there for the last 13 years, so we borrowed a neighbor's telehandler to load the dozer onto the truck and put them both back to where they belong. Someone has to steer it. Yeah, he's sitting in there with him. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'll get around him when we get up on the high on old sixty six here and take a video.
So the idea is we're going to make a barbecue grill smoker thing out of this old gleaner combine rotor. Crops were taking a while to dry down, so we helped Carl get started on a new cow shed and feeder. But this video is getting long enough that my computer's getting laggy, so I think that's gonna have to wait till next time.